Quantum GIS Intro Part 13 Editing Nodes and Existing Features in a Vector Layer Here we have our layer of a georeferenced image and from that we created this brown boundary layer by tracing some of the lines and snapping to the red vector layer as part of the outer boundary. Now we're going to go in and look at how to edit this existing feature. So zoom into the feature and as long as that layer is the active layer you can go to toggle editing and you'll see that the nodes light up as red squares. Now you can click on this node tool and by clicking on any of the nodes you'll see they light up with red squares um, sorry, red X's surrounded by red squares. So now you can just click and drag a node somewhere else and it will update the polygon on the fly. Or you can undo any step by hitting Command Z or Control Z on a Windows machine. So another thing you can do is add a node to a segment by double clicking. You see I've added that and I can change its position or roll back with command C and I can undo that node add with command C. So I can move or add those nodes simply that way. I can also indicate a node that's the node I'm working with and I can do more than one at once by doing a control and then indicating the next node in a series on a Mac, sorry, it's Command. On Windows, it's Control. So now I've indicated both these nodes, and let's say I want to delete them. On a Mac, I can hit Function Delete. On Windows, I believe I can just hit Delete. So now I'll roll back, Command-C, okay, and they're back where they started from. So now I know how to move a node, or delete a node, or add a new node to an existing feature. I could also move the entire feature at once with this Move Feature tool and just move it somewhere else. Or I can roll it back with Command C. So now I'm going to add a new feature to this map of polygons for the Sevilla districts. I'll add the one right next to it, Palmera Bella Vista, using the Capture Polygon tool. And I'll just quickly start, oh wait, before I start, I want to snap to both the edge of my polygon layer and the edge of these red vectors. So I have to go into the settings tool and make sure that both of the layers that I want to snap to, the red vector layers and my polygon layer, are able to snap to the vertex and segment and I'm using a tolerance of 10 pixels rather than map units. So basically this means that as I'm digitizing, as my mouse is within 10 pixels, it'll snap to the line and vertex that I want. So let's capture this polygon. Just quickly uh, do a rough idea of this urban district. You just click and then move and click again and it'll start drawing a polygon for you. I'm not sure how accurate this is, it's from Wikipedia, but... So now it should snap to this vertex. You basically drag it around until it pops onto the vertex you want. See it'll snap to the line and it'll snap to the vertex. By snapping to the vertex I will edge match perfectly. There won't be any gaps or slivers in between my two polygon features. You see it'll work the same with the red edges because I've set those in my snapping options as well. So I'll quickly finish this up and when I get to my end point I just want to right click at the end point and I'll put in the ID number and the name of the feature, Palmera Bea Vista, that I want to appear. Now, if I go to my toggle and save, I should have two features in my attribute table.
which I do. And I could actually go to the properties. I could go to labels, display labels, choose the district name as the label, and you'll see that I have successfully edited the existing polygon layer and added another polygon. So that's updating and editing existing vector layers.